Earlier this year, I built the cool bus for YouTube star Logan Paul. From there, I met his brother, Jake Paul. Recently, he took the rainbow that I built him and tried to jump it. I'm jumping the rainbow off of the ramp in our yard. And it didn't successfully land, I think, properly. So we have some damage to it and we're working on it. He's gonna come by right now, check it out. And I'm sure he's got a couple other things up his sleeve. So, I mean, the good news is... Oh, wow, it's on a ...is list. it's fixable. <laughs> that's not, that's not... <laughs> It's not a good way to start this combo off. So the bad news is... There's a lot of stuff to fix. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff? A lot. Yo, over one jump? <laughs> Rainbow to me has become what I call a content car, and uh, which means unlimited fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's... Wow, that's bad. It's pretty bad. Oh my God. So we got a little bendage here. Yeah. We got a little breakage here. So the good news is all this back here is fine. Okay. It's just a little, you know. It, it, yeah, because when, when I hit, it, it, was mainly, down. it was mainly the nose that Right. Hit. So we got radiator, some intercooler issues. Oh my gosh. I had a feeling with my heart that I needed to jump it, which a lot of people might seem stupid. And they're right. You know what? Rainbow's gonna be fixed. It's not why I came here. Okay. What'd you come for? I got a really big project. Okay. Yo, I'm just gonna show you. Okay. You just gotta see it. All right. <laughs> you were shirtless? That's the only wow. way to drive it. It's always been a dream of mine to have like a giant army truck that's like a ready like go vehicle at all times that like can go and like help people. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Going down to Houston simply, simply changed my life. I wanted to build this vehicle to be able to help other people in case of emergency. The mailboxes are like up to the top. There, there's always like natural disasters going on and being able to like load up supplies or like helping in any way I could, it's like a perfect vehicle to do that. Um, however, on top of that, I'm going on tour soon. Multi-purpose vehicle. <laughs> and so merch truck plus army utilitarian vehicle, like help people out. Okay. I'm thinking a giant merch Gatling gun. <laughs> yeah, like, like, doop, doop, like doop. Doop, boop, 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 boop. But like shoots merch. I want to be able to shoot merch at people. So we want to still stay with like a military theme. So maybe like some sort of camo print on it. Yo, that's sick. All right, and I'll send you some renderings and then we'll just build this and shut down the city. We've done military trucks, Hummers. Never a transport style vehicle like this. This thing looks massive. So I'm a little nervous. It's really time to sit with Musa, go over those ideas, put them into a rendering, get the truck here and figure out how we're gonna get this done. How you doing? Great. I got a big one for you this time. This truck is an M934 expandable transport army truck. Um, the one that Jake actually has, I believe, is a command center. It has a lot of utility stuff built into it. We want to make sure it has a lot of storage, so whatever mission he's on, he's got storage to store food, to store water, to store merch. This is kind of like the reference picture of the interior. Okay, we, so it has quite a bit of room. Yeah, but this is when both of the doors expanded. I would probably say one side. Exterior-wise is where it's going to be kind of crazy. So I told him, we should do line X. What if we did like the digital camo print? I don't know how we're gonna do it in line X, but <laughs> Rhino's gotten pretty good with spraying on line X, so okay. Rhino's gonna hate you. <laughs> I know, totally. <laughs> One of the main things he's asked for was if he could do a Gatlin gun t-shirt gun that comes out of the top. He wants it to go up and it needs to spin. So it's, it's getting, um, we need to maybe put a lift in there and then definitely we need to weatherproof hatch that needs to open that fits the whole Gatling gun. Once it's here, I think we can get the guys, walk it with them, make sure it's all gonna work, and then start building it. The cool thing about this vehicle is it already is a military vehicle that could pretty much make it his, and then it can be on the road. Step into my office over here. <laughs> so the thought process, is when this is open, 
the merch shops on the inside so we can make the inside really nice. That, this comes open, open. This they walk in, open. they walk back down. You know, this isn't the typical build that we usually do. It's an army truck. And, you know, this is one of those jobs that is gonna be rugged. Okay. It's gonna be really, really tough looking. I think it'll be fun. Chad? Sure. But it is massive. I don't think it's gonna fit inside. Jay swears it does. He's gonna try it out right now. Just like parking a Honda. When you fold the door open, the speaker will be like right here. Okay. They'll be facing out, it'll be perfect. Okay. And that way when they fold it up, the speakers are inside, they're protected. When they're driving, it's away. When they're out, it's ready to fly. Right, so one speaker here, one speaker there. Yeah. Over the weekend, the guys got a lot done, which it's really good to see. Since we look at this build and we thought, yeah, it's gonna be pretty simple, we gotta do this thing. It's not simple. It's a big truck, it's an armored truck, and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. We finished the inner structure of the window that's gonna flip down. We installed the piano hinge, and now we just gotta skin it and put it in the truck. Well, this is a cage. It's actually gonna sit on the bottom of the lift. It's the platform that's gonna raise up. It's gonna be able to rotate all the way around with the person walking around the actual structure. They told you this, but you don't listen. Hi, everybody. The fab guys have cut a huge hole in the roof. The merch gun has arrived, and we got to make it go out of that hole. But before, we got to definitely test it out. So we're going to have to do a little bit of R&D and see how far this thing will really shoot. Is there like fire in the hole? Oh, there's fire in all the holes. Are you supposed to put your head down the barrel of a Gatlin gun? Now it's here. Now we're loading it. We're going to see how far these things will shoot. You ready? Set. So now it's time to mount the gun, build a hatch so we can seal this thing up. Right, so Chino and Tony got all the metal fab done on this truck. Now we need to get it out to sandblasting. Jay's gonna hop in, drive it over, get it blasted, and send it down to Line X. So we're in the final stages of this build. There's still a whole lot to do. It's out at Line X right now. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, because as soon as we get it back, we still have to lay out the camo print, paint that, 
build out the interior, wire it all up, install the lights, and then deliver it. So when it came back from the sandblaster, we primered it. With a project this size, it's always best to spray it in sections. So we're gonna break it down in sections. We're gonna do the hood first. Then we're gonna go from there to do the cab. Then we're gonna continue to mask from there, back mask everything and do section at a time, whether it's the top, sides, and work our way to the rear. Looking good, looking good now. Now we can make some headway. So the Jake Paul truck is back from Linex and it's really go time. We only have a couple days left to get everything done, so it's gonna be all hands on deck. Bobby and Rhino are working really hard right now laying down the graphics. Once the graphics are laid down, they gotta paint those on, which is the digital camo look that's gonna really give it the mean look that we're looking for for this truck. Then we gotta add the logos. We gotta still paint the interior. We gotta paint the underneath of the truck. We gotta add the counter. We gotta add the slate wall. We got a lot of stuff to do in just a couple days. So I'm gonna pull this pin on this grenade and I'm gonna throw it behind me and hopefully it gets done. The truck is base red, Line X base red, it's awesome. We'll take it from here, put a bunch of squares on and go two shades darker, medium tone, dark tone red, digital camo. So, the sun is setting. We're now gonna start painting. Uh, eight hours of uh, prep, one hour to spray. It'll be cool because we'll allow this to dry overnight, come back and set the stencils in the morning. Well, it looked good in the dark. And it looks even better in the light, so thumbs up. Moving on to that, stage two. Yeehaw! I think it's done. I think. We just got the tires in for the Jake Paul truck, <laughs> and they are huge. Looking at them reminds me of a CrossFit training exercise. So I have an idea to have a challenge with some of the guys in the shop. Whoever wins gets a free set of Continental tires. So let the games begin. Ready, set, go. Oh, he's not. Oh! Biggest dudes are the biggest cheaters. Go. This is for the free set of tires. <laughs> Ready, set, go! Back to back! So, uh, I'd like to give thanks to my team. Woo. And uh, car ran real good. And uh, that motor man, that motor man, she on fire. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. So the 
guys have been working hard on the Jake Paul rescue truck, and it's finally done. This thing definitely makes a statement. Jake has a class coming over from a local school to meet him. This sounds like a perfect opportunity to test this thing out. Super durable. But he's not is nuts. Ben, join the Look at these tires. This is the dopest thing in life. You got to see the best part. This is nothing. I haven't seen the best part. No, you haven't seen the best part. What do you mean? Activation. No! Oh. So they can flow in and flow out, whether you're helping people. Oh my gosh, people. I didn't even see this sign. It's a legit. It's Whoa. the worst. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts! <laughs> no, this is craziness! Yo, I'm going in. You gotta go I'm going in. in. You gotta go in. I'm going go in. I'll meet you on the other side. All right, baby. Simple, clean, and effective. I am blown away. Like, I've never seen anything like this or even close to like this in my whole entire life. It's giant, it's loud, it's beautiful. And you can help people. So if Texas or something like that ever happens, you show up with this, giving out, giving waters and Whatever yeah, people. Oh, because people can flow right in. Yeah, done. With it being six-wheel drive, and with there being like access points on both sides so that people can funnel through, it'll be there. easy Thank to you. deliver people water, supplies, so um, you know, diapers, simple things that in Houston when I, that I found out that people needed. This is crazy. We're crazy. I'm blown away, man. I have like a bunch of Jake Paulers here today. Calling all Jake Paulers, calling all Jake Paulers to the merch truck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want, huh? There you go. Sweatshirts for days. Come on now. Violin, let's go. Look at how fast the systems oh, are. You right. see the system. The speed. You see this. The speed. <laughs> I'm feeling this. <laughs> Brand new Rolex NMS Lambo 2. And I come in with the crew. It's lit. I told you, bro, we did it. We did it. We did it, bro. We did, we did it. it. My fans know all of my cars already, and this is the biggest and boldest one of them all, so I think people are gonna freak out when it's in their cities. I think it's gonna perform amazing. It's, it's such an awesome Instagrammable moment. People will be able to like come up, film it, be a part of the experience, meet my dad, uh, and, and get some Jake Paul merch. So I'm, I'm so excited for fans' reaction to it. I think they liked it. Did you guys like it? Yeah! I think they liked it. It's like a dream come true. I'm freaking out. Today was a success. You know, this was a big build. There was a whole lot that went into it. And all the way up to four hours ago, I didn't even think we were going to make it. The guys put a lot of effort into it. We went through a lot to make it this far. And it was a success. Now it's time to go home.